train by day, Joe Rogan podcast by night, all day. Round kick, man. God that damn, it goes to the body too. It was a domination, like a total, complete domination. And I'll Yair what, was a strong favorite in this fight. Yair, Max Holloway? Well, although he's number 10, what's up, son? Let's, let's like build the guy up. I, ah, mean, that's what I the, think this that's is what a big fight. That's why I said about Cody for, Garbrandt. Well, guy's a killer. someday in the future, I think that's a legit fight. And I think that's an interesting fight. Because like the Max kids. Holloway is a bad motherfucker. Max Holloway is a bad motherfucker. It's a really interesting fight. I agree with you. Man, okay. Well, they hey, they made Ferguson Khabib official. Yes, my friend. For interim title. Yes. Everybody getting titles. Look at how Everybody. thick that dude. Look at that guy's Every head. Every fight now from now Ever. on will be an interim title. God damn it. That'd be nice. Wait, Khabib is... I'm sorry. They made what? Khabib Ferguson, Ferguson official. Yeah, but they made it as an March interim 4th. title, which I don't understand. Wow, that's kind of super it, confusing. It's very confusing. Because Connor just won the title. See, I think this is more of a sign that Connor's going to fight Floyd next. Because he's probably talking to Dana like, you ain't seeing me anytime soon, son. Or it's more of a sign that they wanted to have a pay-per-view card that was stacked with championship fights. Mm. But th but if you keep doing interim titles, people are like, all right, we get it. Everyone's a fucking world champion. Well, you know Congrats. that Conor's about to have a baby. His wife's about to have a baby. Correct. So uh, that's going to be lots of guys fight with take babies, some time. Though. Well, maybe he's not. I mean, he's richer than lots of guys. That's, cur that's true. Maybe he's like, listen, I don't want to go through training camp right now. I want to experience this. It's a legit point. My first kid. Anyone who had a baby, don't yeah. go through training camp. Yeah. I mean. It's a fucking beast. Oh, man. How, how badass is Yair Rodriguez? Unbelievable. That's the coming out party, folks. BJ is Penn it, on his back. Is it, though? Or is it a, a product of BJ being basically a heavy bag in there? And I love BJ. It's that, but it's also, look, I think BJ, when he was... Ten years younger, it would have been a tougher fight for Yair for sure. Oh, what's what's interesting? Ten years ago, though, BJ? for sure, way tougher fight. Eats his still, well, still, still a different who, style. Who fucking knows? This is the yeah. problem, though, is that it's not just a matter of BJ being a legend, BJ being an all-time great, two-division world champion, bad motherfucker without a doubt, but. His style is a boxing-based attack and then a vicious ground and pound and vicious uh, top game submission game. BJ is not a guy who like, submits guys off of his back, and BJ is not necessarily a guy who kicks that much. But so Yair, who's an outstanding kicker, one of the best kickers, he yeah. has just this huge advantage. Do you know what it's like? If you, if you, no you used to do Taekwondo, yeah. if you had a guy who said, you know, and you box a little bit, if you had a guy that said, hey, let's spar, you can kick, and I'll just box. I, yeah. You'd be like, well, good luck with all that. Exactly. Can I kick your legs? Yes. And he'd be like, yeah. I'd be like, oh, well, well, you just, uh, you're just you going to have right. a terrible afternoon. Yeah, right. terrible. Yeah. Game over. Right. Yeah, you're fucked. Didn't, because didn't BJ fight, uh, Didn't am I crazy, or did he fight? Uh, Leonardo Machida. Leonardo Machida. As a heavyweight. Yes, a heavyweight. That's so crazy. As a heavyweight. On the, it's called The Rock. And the Rock Rumble fought, and the Rock. Rumble right. and the Rock in Hawaii. No. No. And, he, and fought, he fought Lyoto in Japan. In Rumble on the Rock, he fought Carlos Con No, he didn't fight Carlos Condit. I thought he fought Lyoto in Rumble on the Rock. Who did he fight Rumble on the Rock? He fought uh, Gomi. He beat the fuck out of Gomi. Remember he brought Gomi over to Rumble yeah. on the Rock? Beat the shit out of him. And strangled him. He How, fought he somebody else. He lost to Lyoto, but... I think he fought in... Uh, I want to say K1. Because he fought Dwayne Ludwig in K1 as well. I th I, yeah, I thought he fought Lyoto in Rumble of the Rock. Crazy. Mm, you might be right. I don't know. Wikipedia that, Jamie. Really powerful fucking tie and pocket handkerchief. Look how much bigger for Tyron Woodley. Than, than they announced yeah. him versus Wonder Boy. Huh? I know. I him, like him it. versus Wonder Boy too. When he goes I like to a draw, fight. you got to you, you got fucking. Do I kind of feel like you about? have to. You have to. Unless uh, George St. Pierre comes out of retirement, then you make an exception. But since George, oh look at this, just is horrible to watch, man. He's just taking that left kick to the head. Oh, the wheel kick. I mean, this is like right away, early in the fight, he's getting staggered. He's getting his legs kicked out. Feel like those him. WME boys made this oh, matchup. Oh man, that 360 round kick to the oh neck, and then oh jumping god. front kick I behind can't watch it. That shit. Oh my god. I'll tell you what, Yair, Yair Rodriguez versus Brian Ortega is a fun one. Look, Yair Rodriguez versus anyone is a front one. I mean, the kid's 24 years old. Who the fuck knows what happens with Yair? Yair might not even stay at 45. He might be stepping up to 55 in the next few years. He might be the Mexican Conor McGregor. He might be the motherfucker. Ortega, I didn't even Look know at that. Ortega boom, was 45. Boom. Yeah, Ortega's 45. He's ranked, number, he's, a, he's ranked ahead of Yair. He's number nine. Wow. Dude, when you see BJ Penn get rocked like that, you see his legs give out. Click on that K1 Heroes for me. Where's that at? Longest active win streak in the featherweight oh. division, Max Holloway. Japan, nine. Joe. You're right. Wow. Yeah. I think it was K1, right? Yeah. yeah. And before that, it was uh, Rumble on the Rocks. And who did he find Rumble on the Rocks? Back up a little bit there. UFC, go, go down, go Dwayne. down. It's way down. Keep going. No, Takanori Gomi. 
He fought Takanori going. Did he fight someone else? Yeah, he fought uh, Gracie. Rodrigo Gracie. Oh, Rodrigo Gracie. That's right. And that was a decision, right? That was kind of a boring fight, if I remember correctly. Powerful Larry Landless referee. Having seen what Connor did to uh, Eddie Alvarez, what, what is your what is your take on Alvarez? I mean, uh, Connor, Khabib. Th- it that doesn't seems matter. Like that doesn't. That, that, yeah, he has to fight Tony. He's got to fight Tony. Yeah. That's a you can't just dismiss. No, that. you don't. Yeah. No, you that's can't. not one like oh, Khabib got this. No, yeah. no, no, that's a no, tough you're right. fucking you're right. fight. You're right. I forgot about that. That's very. And true. you can't ever use MMA math. Here's Never. why: Ronda Rousey submits some uh, cat. Zingano in 14 seconds. Kat Zingano stops Amanda Nunes mm. in the third round. Amanda Nunes destroys Ronda Rousey in 48 seconds. Yeah. MMA math never ever it, it works. It doesn't work. Yeah. You can't, you can't base it off that. Matchup styles, yeah. it's one on one. It's like when you're using that translator thing that I told you about and you read things <laughs> yes. incorrectly. But Ferguson is that's so unorthodox. That's box logic, right? That motherfucker is nasty. He's such a badass. Oh, what a great picture, man. That guy is awesome. He's so fucking good, man. He's the best in the game. Powerful boss logic. I know. Shout out to that guy. Yeah, man. 